Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this episode of Every Filter in Photoshop Explained, we're going to be taking a look at the noise filters. So the first one we have is Add Noise. This is our staple noise filter that will just generate random noise as if it was shot on high speed film or film in low light. And you can increase the amount from zero all the way up to a large percentage and we get this random variation of black and white noise. You can also do different distributions. so uniform it's a little bit more uniform gaussian is spread out differently more blurry and you can also choose monochromatic or color noise red green blue so this can be useful in a few different scenarios one if you just want to add some texture to your photo if that's the look you're going for you can do that if you're getting banding on certain parts of your image adding a little bit of noise can help break up that banding and also sometimes when you're in photoshop and you're blending and compositing multiple things for example, let's say on a new layer, I wanted to add some kind of fake shadow here. So I could use a black soft brush and maybe add another fake shadow on this bridge. However, it just looks like a solid black object. It doesn't look too bad. And one idea I could use to blend everything in together is adding a thin film of noise either on top of everything or even just on this little shadow just to make it look a little less artificial, a little less perfect. And it gives it a little more texture than just that solid black. Maybe helps us blend it in a little bit more. The other noise filters we have are not only to add noise, but to try to remove noise from a photo. So in this nighttime photo, we might naturally get a little bit more noise in the camera. You can see it as I zoom in here. And if I press filter noise despeckle, it will try to remove noise around edges. You can kind of see that happening around some of these shapes and letters. It tries to keep especially the contrast of the shapes intact while blurring some of that noise together. But in general, whenever you're trying to remove noise, you might get a little bit more blur on your image. In this case, it's working pretty nicely. However, you know, you don't always have to remove noise from a photo. Even if I revert back to the original photograph, I personally don't mind a little bit of texture and grain that naturally happens, but you can use it for maybe portraits or problem areas. Another noise filter we have that tries to remove noise is dust and scratches. This one will give you two sliders, a threshold and a radius, and you can adjust both of those to try to remove noise while keeping in mind the contrast and shapes of the image. So if I bring it up way too much, we just kind of get this blur effect. It almost gives us like an artistic painterly type of effect that we saw in some of the filter galleries. But if I increase the threshold up a little bit, it brings back the contrast of some of those original shapes. So if I play around with the sliders just a tad with the right amount of contrast and threshold, I can try to reduce noise while still keeping the original shapes somewhat intact. For another example, if I tried to do dust and scratches here, you see how it tries to remove, especially these small little texts and dots on this arcade, but it definitely keeps in mind the big shapes, keeps those shapes intact. Another one we have like that is median. This one will try to take a look at a pixel and its surrounding pixels and try to get rid of ones that are too dissimilar from each other. So you see areas where the shapes are pretty consistent. We, we keep those, but areas where there's a lot of little contrast back and forth, especially like these dotted lines, those kind of get removed pretty quickly. So again, we, we're starting to get more like a painterly effect the larger we go, just naturally how this kind of happens. So sometimes with some of these, you might just only want to do a couple pixels. Another one we have is just reduce noise in general. This one is kind of like add noise, but it gives us this whole menu. So you could see if I increase the strength, it will try to remove the noise in the photo. I can change the amount that I want to try to preserve the edges and details. And if there's a lot of color noise, I can try to get rid of that. So these can be helpful when your photograph just comes out noisy out of the camera. If there just wasn't enough light or it wasn't shot in the right exposure. Again, you don't always have to try to do this and be a perfectionist with your photographs, but you can use these tools creatively to blend or add or functionally to try to remove and clean up images. So that's a brief look at how to use the noise filters in Photoshop. And then the next episode of this series, we're going to be taking a look at how to use all of the pixelized filters and effects. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe to my channel and check out the playlist for all of these episodes. And I'll see you in the next episode.